Hello everyone, <clears throat> this time it's something completely new, new for me, Gran Turismo 7. I just got the game uh, two days ago, I, this is completely a fresh start, uh, the only thing I did, I did one race in a music rally. Um, yeah, that's because I didn't even know what it was, so I just did a quick one. Um, and I, I watched the long uh, intro just to get rid of it and I think I'll have to go through some tutorials. I'm not sure if I have to go to watch the video again. Hopefully not. I don't really want to. Uh, yeah, I can cancel it. Lovely. I think the first time once watches it, uh, it cannot be cancelled. So I have 20,000 credits and I can get a car. Uh, yeah, let's get a used car. I don't think I'll be able to get anything else. Uh, So there will be some tutorial. My name is Andy. I'm the owner of this dealership. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, mate. Right now, this is the lineup of cars we have in stock. Okay. Andy, could you give Quelks some advice on picking the first car? Okay, no problem. When choosing your car, pay attention to the PP in addition to it, to it looks and price. PP stands for performance points and indicates how fast that car is. Yeah, let's say it's true. The PP is a numerical value that gives you an overall indication of how fast a car is, taking into account its power, aerodynamics, handling and so on. The higher the PP is, the faster and stronger the car. Since you are just at the beginning of your adventure, I'll, it will be good to start with start out with a Japanese compact car. I guess I have a choice, right? Of the cars in stock now, that would be this free. The Honda Fit, please no. The Toyota Aqua, please no. And the Mazda Demio, please no. Any of those would serve you well, please no. You can make your choice based on PP or design here. You're free to choose the one you like. That's not a choice. That's horrible choice. That's, that's a, that is dramatic choice. Why would anyone want one of those cars? Is there anything cheaper? Bloody hell. That's ugly car versus ugly car versus... I guess that Mazda looks the best out of the three. It's also the cheapest. Uh, this looks horrible. <laughs> that, that as well. Okay, if I have to choose something, uh, let it be the Mazda. Uh, Wait, and can I get a car by doing some licenses or something, rather than buying an old used car? Or it doesn't allow me to go anywhere else, so it forces me to buy a used car. Thank you, Gran Turismo. Yeah, whatever. Cool. So I'm going, I'll be getting levels as always, okay. When you purchase or receive a car, you gain collector points according to the price or value of the vehicle. Okay, fair enough. The more collector points you have, the higher your collector level will be. Great. This collector level ref reflects your rank as a car collector. Okay. So pick up lots of cars and increase your collector level. Great. And what does it give it? What does it give it? What does it give it to me? I see you've picked out your first car. Congratulations. Thank you. So, Quelxus, this will be your first car. I know, I just bought it. Once you leave here, I recommend going to your garage and checking out your new car. This is getting ridiculous. Lovely. Okay, Quelxus, let's go to your garage. Here we go, this is your garage. I'm making progress here. This is a garage. This is THE garage, it's not just a garage, it's THE garage. A storage space for your car collection. At least the music is nice. Really loud though. This is your home base, where you can switch cars, change settings and... Okay, lovely. Perfect. Okay, 
what I want to head to is to options. Off with that. Yeah, that can stay. Off. Yeah, even though I hit off, I want still just to make sure zero. Uh, max. No, I don't need that. Yeah, I can stay. Whatever. Mm -hmm. No, off with that. No background music. We're here for engine sounds, not for music. Lovely. That's much better. That's what I wanted. Uh, what's that? Okay, hard. I'd probably be too hard, but yeah, I'm going to keep it. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I don't need anything else for now. Just want to get rid of this music. <clears throat> I, I probably would get copy strike straight away, and I, probably, I will probably get a copy strike uh, anyway. So, uh, car collection. This is your car collection. That's a huge one. I have one car. All the cars that you ever owned are registered here. Lovely. So the car collection serves as a history of your car life. Amazing. Acquiring lots of new cars and fill in your collection. Acquire. Can you collect them all? What, I'm a Pokemon collector or something? Okay, so that's the one I have. The color is wrong though. Uh, cool. Yeah, whatever. Uh, tuning parts, no gifts, no escape smooth, no car settings, no change car. I guess that's my car. Okay, I won't be... Oh, the, 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 the little uh, key was highlighted, so I believe I am in that car. So they asked me to visit a cafe. Speaking about cafe, here we go. Nice latte. Mm, really good, really good latte. Cafe is now open. Okay, lovely. Okay, let's head to the cafe. A cafe for car enthusiasts where you might meet some interesting people. Cafe shrouded in the woods. What are they talking about? This is a special place where people who love cars and even car designers come to visit. I'm sure plenty of people visit this remote place no one knows about. There will also be special menus for people like you exploring this world. Come on, Quelxus, let's go inside. Luca. Oh, so you are Quelxus. You're just starting out a new adventure, right? My name is Luca, the owner of the cafe, of this cafe. So now it's not the cafe, now it's this cafe. Uh, we not only serve food and drinks here, but also provide special menu books for exploring this world. Amazing. The menu book contains hints and objectives to help you collecting cars and enjoying racing. Great. Once you complete one menu book, I'll have another one ready for you. Let's start out by choosing your first menu book. Menu book. So many choices, so many possibilities. Japanese compact cars, obviously. That's what I uh, that's what I bought, right? That's what I purchased. So Gran Turismo Cafe Collection Japanese Compact Cars Reward Roulette Ticket. Oh my god. The roulette, roulette of despair is back. Uh, okay. S -s -s learn more now, just start. Living your car life. Ooh, uh, second trophy. I got the first one doing that uh, music race where uh where, uh, where I overtook five cars in one lap or something like that. The first menu I've prepared for you is all about collecting Japanese compact cars. Amazing. Your goal is simply to acquire the three cars listed on the menu. Okay, sounds simple enough. You might have one or two of them already, but your work's not done until you've got all three. Great. You can review the cars as rewards for your performance in certain world circuits races. Oh, you can receive not review. An orange compass icon will guide you to races where the cars you require can be won. Lovely. Be sure to come back to the cafe once you've collected all three cars. I'll be waiting. I'm glad, I'm glad to hear he's not going anywhere. I was afraid that maybe he may disappear or something. I mean, even a car accident or something. Okay, so I guess now I have to follow the compass. World Circuits is now open. Bloody hell. Showcase is now open. Great. So, 
that's ah, oh, that's the compass icon, right? And that's the showcase. Discover, replace, and photos of drivers from around the world. Just going to have a quick look. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, I'm done. Uh, <clears throat> complete at race trucks all over the world. Well, half of them are fantasy trucks made just specially for Gran Turismo. That's how all over the world they are. So, Americas, one location, Europe, one location, plenty, plenty to choose from. Uh, okay, let's do Europe first, right? I'm pr pretty much at home now, so I don't have to fly anywhere. Uh, okay, so what next? Uh, Autodromo Lago Maggiore. Okay, lovely. I think that's fantastic truck, right? <clears throat> Sunday Cup, PP No Limit, GT Cup, Group 3, PP 730. Okay, uh, let's go there. Okay, so that's forget about this for now. Third place or higher in that Mazda. Okay, so my question is arcade race, circuit experience, time trial. Fair enough, okay. Two laps, eight cars, yeah, 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 all that. Change car, no, car setting. So let's do car setting first. It's different than what I'm used to. Uh, okay, those more tires. I won't be changing that. Detail settings. Oh, that looks more like, wow, that's a lot of settings here. Uh, okay, so I can upgrade my car here. Uh, I can buy parts first, I guess. Fair enough, that all looks good. Measurement history even, lovely. Uh, okay, nothing to change here. Enter. My main question is, is this a manual gearbox car? Uh, my assumption is yes. So, okay, so I have more settings to do here. Uh, car settings. Okay, we're back to this one. Oh, this is... Then we've got assist settings, which should be transmission manual, assist preset collection custom, traction control off, 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 everything is off. Uh, that reminds me, I need to change to preset one. Uh, yeah, okay, that looks good, I think. Controller settings. Five and five. I don't remember what I had in... Force feedback max torque. Okay, let's do six. Sensitivity. I have to check. Actually, let's see if there is uh, a guidance from Fanatec. Um, this is... Fanatec Gran Turismo 7 uh, recommended. They usually have a page like that on their forums for even each and every uh, game. And there is one for Gran Turismo 7. I know there were some changes in the newest one. Uh, let's try to find CSL Elite. Here we go, there is one. So they're saying... Let me just have a look. Auto, 100, minus 2. I've got minus 3, so I'm going to change it to minus 2 for this game. Filling at 50, 400, spring 100, DPR 100. Uh, and I've got load cell at 30 for no ABS. In-game settings. Where are those in-game settings? Uh, <clears throat> Steering sensitivity at okay zero is off okay or is there an off setting that is no from minus to ten so I'm assuming zero is off okay triggers I don't care about they're saying five and one that's quite interesting let's see how strong it's going to be anything else here temporary exposure display no okay nothing else uh, okay let's start. I hope this clutch is going to work straight away. Okay, the clutch works, the gearbox works, all is good.
So 5 and 1 feels good at the moment, but I'm going to quickly quickly check. Uh, let's do 6 and 5 just to see what's the difference. Okay, let's do 10 and 10. Okay, that's unnecessar unnecessarily too strong. Uh, I'm going to stick to recommended settings for now. Uh, they felt quite good. Yeah, the wheel is responsive. I can feel the FF or FFB. Surprisingly, I think they fixed the whole non-ABS braking in comparison to the previous game. Radar, okay, that's the radar. Oh, I think that's better as well. Seems to be, seems to have much higher uh, distance. What else there is? Uh, weather radar, okay, cool. That's standard, that's standard. TCS, but I don't see the possibility of changing the. Um, brake balance, at least not in this car. We, my first win in Gran Turismo 7. In comparison, what are the settings for the force feedback for other wheels? Uh, podium is also 5.1 and DD is also 5.1, okay. Trophy earned, clean race. Well, that's... Trophy earned, no assistance required, okay, cool. Oh, hello, man. How are you? Met someone from Russia. Okay, yeah. Uh, I know. I know a few people from Russia. Uh, and they actually cut off from what's happening. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Thank you very much. They actually cut off from what's happening, you know, in the in the Eastern Europe at the moment. And uh, they're good people. Uh, we have to be careful, I guess, with judging people just because they are from Russia. So, but yeah, it can be quite interesting. To meet someone who's actually in support of uh, of what's happening there. Oh, they're giving they're giving now hundred percent bonus for a clean race. That's nice of them. It was fifty percent in Gran Turismo Sport. It's hundred percent here, from what I can see. That was quick. S too many numbers, too many numbers in this game. Levels after levels after levels. No, I actually have never played Forza Horizon... Sorry, Forza Motorsport 7. I played Forza Motorsport older parts, but I'm not a big fan of Forza. So the last one I played was around Motorsport 3. Maybe four. Uh, I don't know. It just doesn't. I doesn't like the way you tune cars there. Like you can you can have a Ford Focus being in the highest possible group, racing the fastest cars. Just like I don't know. Doesn't kind of work with me. There should be some limitation, I believe, to what you can do with the car.
Okay, so... I may try it one day. The problem is, at the moment, I don't have uh, the Xbox X, Series X. And my graphic cards in my PC burned. So that's why I'm stuck with my PlayStation 5 at the moment. And uh, yeah, I pl I'm planning to, to buying a new graphic cards, but I'm just waiting for the Series 4000 from NVIDIA uh, later this year and see what, what it is and how it influences the prices of graphic cards in general. Um, my wheel is compatible with all three, with PC, with uh, Xbox and with PlayStation. So I'm, if, if, the, if the prices of graphic cards are crazy, I may get an Xbox, we'll see. I would rather prefer PC though, because uh, anything I can play on Xbox, I can also play on PC, so. Japan, Broadbean broad bin Raceway. And we can acquire the third car we need. Third place or higher, should be easy. Um, car settings, I guess no more changes here. Just enter and, and race. Okay, let's try it. That's a big slide. I forgot to break. Wow, okay, I lost. Interesting. Well, I was third, but I want to be first. Uh, yeah, I've, once I get a new graphic card for my PC, I'll definitely try Motorsport 7. If you're saying it's a, it's a huge improvement to the previous one, I may. Okay. Can I repeat this race? Level up! Your collector level has increased. Amazing. And I acquired new car. Even better. Yeah, I, ha I haven't played 5 or 6. So I don't even know how they are. Uh, how they were. Okay, can I retry? But also, no, let's just do that. Let's. What the hell am I doing? Let's start. Then let's go to options. And can I change the view? Display settings. Oh, were they really? Five and six were so bad. That's interesting. Yeah, I read a lot of a lot of prizes about uh, all the motorsport series and but yeah I, I was never a motorsport guy Oh, cancel uh adjust cockpit view okay oh they added new options there lovely type 2 
Okay, that looks like he's moving the head in type 2. Oh, if that is really true, that sounds that sounds good. The question is how that influenced the simulation of everything in the car, like tires and, you know. Uh, no, I don't want offset. That's quite strange. Though it gives me a better view. It's pretty cool. I don't have to move my setup to be more on the right. Hmm, okay, no. I'm, I'll clip to that. Okay, there is no change between 0 and 5. I don't know why. And the height is height, okay. Oh, that is cool. The question is, is there a live truck in motorsport? Like if it starts raining, are the puddles, you know, create or appear on the truck based on the severity of the rain? And do they always appear in the same places or is it always randomized or is it really based on the truck elevations and the shape of the truck and so and so on? Oh, that sounds cool then. Okay, much better this time than the last time. Oh, that is that is cool. If they really simulate they properly, not just you know an effect which is pre-programmed, then that's great. That's that's how it should be. The only the only other game I know is doing that is the Project Cars. Okay, so I think I did all the requirements uh, for the cafe menu book I acquired the cars which were needed let's go to the cafe can I go straight there no I cannot okay so I have to go through the menu the way up and then all the way down student of motoring history lovely interesting well you know what uh, reading what you what you what you're saying here, I'm, I will definitely give it a try one day, um, but it will take some time. I need a bloody graphic card or the Xbox. I would rather have the graphic card for my PC than the Xbox. But we'll see. Hi, congratulations! You succeeded in getting all three cards. Yes, I did. 
So this completes this collection, and boy, have I got some stories to tell you about these cars. Let's talk later. Well, he just told me he has a story to tell me, and then he's telling me, let's talk later. <sighs> let's take a good look at, this, at these cars and we'll hear what Luca has to say about them. Okay. I wouldn't call this free a classic cars, but yeah, whatever. Test yourself at the license center. Okay, that's cool. So what, does she have anything to say? Nice to meet you. Who's Stella? Yeah, exactly, classic cars, like, they didn't, they didn't look like classic cars at all. I would never consider them a classic cars, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's like, because you couldn't afford anything else and they had to sell you one of the used cars, they, they had to come, with, come up with something to tell you about them. So they decided to call them a classic cars, okay. Yeah, exactly. Like old Ferrari, old old Mustang, or yeah, oh, old Mustangs are great. Shelby or something like that. Cobra. Okay. Uh, menu book. What's on the menu? Test yourself at the license center. Uh, visit the license center and see if you can enter the B1 license. Earn, not enter. Earn. Okay, I can do that. Earning licenses at the license center is a great way to improve your driving skills if you're struggling. I am. And if you're a more confident driver, you can test yourself by trying to get gold in all the challenges. I won't. Start off by earning a bronze prize or better in the first challenge for the national B license. Okay. Once that prize is in your back pocket, come back here and report to me. I'll do. Perfect. I like they I like I like how they change the way the Gran Turismo works in giving you objectives. It's pretty cool actually. I'm I'm laughing while I'm reading that, but it's actually a pretty cool feature. I really like it. A little bit of guidance in a big game is is always uh, something I I welcome. Okay. Okay. Let me let me try myself. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Cool. I'm curious if I can do the stopping challenge without the ABS. Let's see if it was tuned that way. Uh, driver assistance, what's that? I want to see everything in this game. Okay, that's a tutorial. Nice. This is where you will learn all about driving assistance features. Lovely. We'll start with a little demonstration. I think I disabled all of them. See the red band on the... Yeah, I can see that. That's braking area. Lovely. 
Right. Okay. There is a lot of indicators and helps in this game. Oh, it's Fuji. Three point five seconds to hundred kilometers to hundred miles per hour. What the hell? How is that even possible for a Pontiac? <laughs> That's really fast. No, it's not. I know all those trucks. You know what? I would actually have to check what kind of car it is. I don't know how Pontiac uh, Solstice G XP looks like. There's a lot of information on the dashboard. Displays various driving related information on a number of screens that you can switch between. Okay, yeah, I know. That's the one on the right hand side in my case. Stock, stock, okay, I need to see how the Pontiac looks like. A stock Pontiac, three and a half seconds to zero, from zero to 97. Are you sure it's not kilometers per hour? 0 0.97 kilometers per hour. Because 197 miles is like 160 kilometers per hour. Uh, that's, a, that's a lot. Uh, for three and a half seconds, of course. Pontiac. Was it GXT? Ah, okay. I know which one it is. I didn't know that's what its name is. Uh, I know the car. Cool. I don't think I've ever seen one. Um, they're probably not popular here in Europe. Uh, I, I don't remember ever seeing it on the road here. Uh, probably very popular in the US, I guess. That would be my guess, of course. So I don't know. Yeah, that makes more sense now. <laughs> I should be driving? Okay, cool. That's a beast they gave me here. Yeah, it's hard without IPS. <laughs> I lock the wheels. Wow.
Yeah, uh, I finally came back to Project Cars yesterday. I did one race in Formula Renault. Oh, it felt so good to be back in in Project Cars. Yeah, I always, I always believe that using this driving helps in terms of the driving line and the turn indicators is wrong because we get used to them and then it's really hard to switch them off. Yeah, I think it's better to just start without them. Okay, I will try the braking without ABS. We'll see if it's doable. I'm actually quite curious if I can do it. Um, yeah, this is, this is usual for Gran Turismo, the first one. Accelerate and slow down in the box. Yeah, let's go. Um, I'll be doing without... Surprisingly, it was doable without ABS. Uh, okay, so it's gold straight away. Okay, that wasn't too hard. In the original Gran Turismo games, like between 1 to 4, doing something like that in gold was taking multiple tries and having a lot of luck. But I guess there are different times. Uh, and somehow I'm on the first place between my friends. Okay, that's interesting. Um, without ABS, I think I was super lucky. So, the second one. High speed ring, starting and stopping too. Oh, my headphones are dying. How lovely. I need to connect them. <clears throat> Just to recharge them a little bit. Uh, B2 is starting and stopping too. The cars faster than the one in B1, but your objective is the same. Okay. If it's the same objective, why are you talking so much? Just let me drive. Okay. I was keeping it on the clutch to look. Oh, gold, first time without ABS, lovely. That uh, works well. That works well for me. Okay, next one. Okay, I may be wrong, but I thought... I saw that the book was completed already. Was it just to get one? Okay, I need to go and check that. Yeah, it looks like they just required to finish the first license out of whatever the number of them there are. Well done, you did exactly as I asked. Oh, amazing. I suppose you already met Daniel. No, I don't remember. And the other instructor. Okay, yeah, possibly. Didn't pay attention to their names. Oh, which means I'll be racing them. Maybe not.
Okay, so the Goodwood uh, truck and Brands Hatch. Brands Hatch is amazing. And a new menu book. So what's on the menu? Collection, European Classic Compacts, Acquire All Three Cars, Fat 500, Mini Cooper S65, the original one. That's an amazing car. I had a chance to drive one. Pretty cool. Feels like being in a go-kart, so low over the ground. And the Volkswagen Beetle, the old original Beetle. Okay, I'm happy to do that. Oh, and those are classics. Yes, those are definitely classics. Maybe not, you know, amazing classics like like old muscle cars or old Ferraris or Lambus, but those are classic cars. Okay. Thank you very much for rooting for me. I feel better already. So, <clears throat> oh, what's that? telling me something here probably that I have a gift and two new cars which I won but there has to be a way to kind of mark only the cars I own so I don't have to there isn't wow that's interesting cool uh, why it's still showing the number two like do I have to click on them to clear it Okay. okay, perfect, cleared. Gift, what is the gift? This, these are your gifts, I just one. When you receive a route ticket, you can trade it in for um, for items here, okay. You know, cars, parts, credits. Mm -hmm. I'll be exciting to see what you get. Yeah, I'm excited as well. Yes, please. Of course, there's the, <laughs> the smallest pile of cash available. Oh my gosh, I hate that roulette. It was horrible in previous Gran Turismo. It's still horrible in this one. Cool. Let's go back on the truck. Let's do something fun. That wasn't fun. Yeah, I call it a uh, roulette of despair because you always get the worst possible thing out of it. Like. I don't think I've ever get something. No, I would be lying. I got a good thing out of it as well, but it's so RNG based. It's crazy. Europe. So it's Brand Hatch, Goodwood, and back to that Autodromo uh, Lago Maggiore. Hmm. I'm thinking this one first. What are the rewards in each? Uh, does it say? Hmm. It doesn't say. Yeah, let's do Italy first. Oh, Italy is this uh, old beetle. No, that's Fiat. Of course, it's Italy. This is what? This is uh, Mini Cooper and this is Beetle. Uh, okay, fair enough. Let's start with the Italy. Yeah, it's comfort mediums. I'm okay with that. I'm still driving my uh, my demo. Okay. Uh, let's start, but let's do. I need to check something. Does it remember? Uh, no. Does it remember my settings for my view display settings for uh, cockpit view? Oh yeah, it does. That's great. there I'm sorry I thought I was in front already I should have checked the radar mm. 
Volkswagen Golf GTI 83. That's Golf 1, I think. That's a pretty amazing car. That's a classic as well, I would say, that Golf. I think I was a bit too late on brakes, but nothing dramatic to be worrying about. And an easy win. Driving marathon. I think I have to reach 26 miles to get some kind of reward, like it was in uh, Gran Turismo Sport. Okay, first out of three, and some collector level points. Be gone, replay, and to the next one. Goodwood is the next. I'm keeping Brand Hatch for last because it's the best out of the three. So Goodwood. Let's do it. Third place or higher. Okay. As always, let's start. Two laps of the truck. I didn't want to take any risk, I will be unnecessary. I think I might have been a little bit too slow in that corner. I guess that fad is not a challenge. Above. Whoa, okay, that was too fast. So I'm now, now I need to catch up with that uh, Golf GTI. That's a surprise, I thought uh, I'll be able to go through full throttle that corner.
I'm actually losing, not gaining on him. if those cars are fast enough to get some slipstream. Oh, he's actually driving away again. Three seconds. It's quicker than the last time. There's a truck race to the finish line. I'm barely in front. And it's a win. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Trophy earner by a whisker. Okay, lovely. I'll take on the trophy. It's a long way to uh, platinum, I guess. I'm earning those credits like crazy. I just need what? 60 million for the three most expensive cars or whatever. I'm not interested in the replay. Um... I just need a short break. <laughs> <laughs> 